the time Dropping dimes, let's go Say we need not go So I need not say Lay the smack down on your goo fast You don't bring my payment Said you're looking for foundation Yeah, can't be the case, bitch You don't know your place, Nick Unless it's Zodiacs No need to go to that I throw your facts Think abstract, you just whack You too old for that Take accountability It's some things you need to tweak New lesson learner now I got a topic every week Give a fuck about what your pop said, yeah. Bitch, shut your mouth, no, you roll like the rock said. Don't give a fuck about what your pop said, yeah. Just shut your mouth, no, you roll like the rock said. Don't give a fuck about what your pop said, yeah. Just shut your mouth, no, you roll like the rock said. Don't give a fuck about what your pop said, yeah. Just shut your mouth, no, you roll like the rock said. Get to the smash, bro. Shit, obviously. You know, meet that shit real quick. But, um, yeah, fam. I'm just waiting for these matches and shit to clear up so I can get in the ring and beat they ass. Boy, I'm on one today. I woke up, man. Not in the best mood. I ain't even gonna hold you, fam. But, um, it ain't nothing too major, you know, but. You know, it's highs and lows in life, you know what I'm saying? It just go it just come with the territory, bro. That's why it's like it is what it is, bro. I'll be all right within the next couple of hours, man. But goddamn I wake up this morning, you know, check a couple of my accounts and I call myself not wanting to really invest in this. <clears throat> But the dude sold it so well And it's like damn I'm taking L after L with this damn money But it ain't like I can't get it back It ain't like it's gonna, not gonna come back Way beastier and shit But it's just like damn I just feel like I'm just getting played left and right You know And then I gotta deal with this neighbor bitch And her weird ass She be just moving funny bro It's just not coincidental how she be moving fam It's like a nigga will wake up early as fuck in the morning and every fucking unit in here, it's like you can hear what's going on next door. Sometimes when the floors creak, you can hear that shit in your unit, right? And so, need I mind you, this bitch is normally never up before 6 o'clock. For the past couple of weeks, every fucking time, I get up like around fucking 3. Go to the bathroom. Now nah, I hear this bitch all of a sudden, she in the bathroom and shit. Whenever the fuck I'm up in here making recordings and shit, making videos and shit, I always hear, like, the floors creak, but then I hear it stop right before it gets to the bathroom. Now, if you live in housing authority units like Park Lawn, West Lawn, or whatever, you know, like, where the hallway is, and you know exactly where the bathroom starts and stops. So basically every unit will mirror each other. So for whatever reason, this bitch is just in the hallway. Just I don't know what she doing. But you know, wall's so narrow you can hear shit. But I just find it funny. Every fucking time she's at the crib and I just happen to be recording, I always hear it's like this bitch want to listen in on what I'm doing. Not only that, it's been instances for the past few years where I just see this bitch Talking with these other fat bitches in the neighborhood and shit. And I can just hear these hoes through the window talking about, yeah, my neighbor is that and the third is that. I ain't hear that fat bitch living next door to me say nothing specifically about me. But she's getting the tea on other motherfuckers neighbors and shit. And it's like, well, what the fuck are you saying about me to them? Obviously, I ain't got shit to hide. I mind my own fucking business, but. My whole point is this hoe finds herself to get up and monitor my fucking motions and movements and my actions. Now, a couple of days ago when it was snowing, she had went outside like the day before and started shoveling while it was still snowing. She got her shit up. And then here it comes the very next day, four in the morning, a little more snowfall. And all of a sudden, she comes back out around the same time I come out so happily to shovel my damn snow. 
And I'm just not even paying attention to the bitch. I'm doing my best to ignore her ass, not saying nothing or nothing. Just shoveling my shit and getting the fuck out the way. But, uh, anyway, she, uh, basically, <clears throat> it seemed like she just stalking a nigga. I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit. It's like she want me to talk to her or something, but like, bitch, you already know I don't like your weak ass. You stay parking close to me and shit over the fucking line doing little petty ass shit like that. Like, I don't want to deal with you, man. And the hoes don't seem to understand it. It's like they always want to fuck with you. When you don't want to fuck with them, they do their best to go out their motherfucking way to make your life this harder, bro. Like, what don't you understand? Like, bitch, niggas don't want to fuck with you. You're not, you're not that bitch. You've done a gang of disrespectful shit. Let me get off that focus on this game, bro. But yeah, you do a gang of disrespectful shit. And you think I'm gonna sit here and be cool with you? Not only that, bro, but it's like, nigga, you live in like, you live in like a closed-in area. Damn near like some Brooklyn shit on some, on some, uh, project shit. So it's like, it ain't like everybody don't see everybody, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's only... It's only right that motherfuckers peep out they window every now and then. When shit going on, you just hear commotion and shit, right? I mean, it just makes sense to me. So, why the fuck are... I know I'm losing like a motherfucker, but I'm just trying to talk my shit, really. I just don't get what the fuck be the method of these hoes. Just playing these little weird-ass mind games like you a fucking goofy or something. Hoes be disrespectful as fuck. Damn near every time you see them come outside, it's like they either trying to mean mug you, do some little weird ass shit. Like, damn, bitch, what did I do to you? They don't even be making no damn sense. Ain't no method in how they go about shit, bro. They just be mad niggas don't want to say shit to they weak ass because they know they weak. I ain't no damn simp ass nigga where I'm just going up to bitches just because y'all older and all of a sudden y'all think about default y'all get respect if you doing disrespectful shit bitch fuck you. And just because you go to church don't mean shit bitch. Yeah. Oh no. Oh I could have I could have recovered but anyway uh mute this shit and get back to this shit, bro. Close up. Where that's that Transition. But yeah, anyway, Doug, like, my whole thing is, like, this ain't like it's just some new shit, bro. This shit been going on. I've been living over here for at least seven fucking years, G. At least seven. Solo dolo. Upgrade my life. Upgrade my health. They see the transformation. I speak out of tolerance for you, but please believe like you're watching me. I'm watching your ass too. And I'm seeing what you're doing with your life. If you're not sitting here trying to make no improvements, trying to call yourself being in little silent competitions and shit like, bro, my car had got wrecked out in front of the crib. I don't know if y'all on my Facebook or not, but um, <clears throat> car had got wrecked out in front of the crib, right? It was a little Dodge Dart. And uh, so basically I ain't had no choice but to upgrade my vehicle, get something else and shit. I was cool with that motherfucker. It had a nice little sound system and shit. You know what I'm saying? It sounded nice. The little engine and shit. You know what I'm saying? It had a nice little Dodge feel to it, but it was it wasn't fast at all, bro. That motherfucker had like 150 horsepower and shit. That shit was slow as a bitch. But I like that little motherfucker. It got crashed out in front of the crib. Everybody standing outside, neighbors and shit coming outside. I'm seeing motherfuckers laughing and shit. You know, a couple people. One that was next door to me that I was telling y'all about on my Facebook how I had a neighbor that basically do some ancestral shit because her kids, both of them came out slow. So I'm just like, hmm, that's probably some family member shit. When she moved out, I had kind of figured that out. I'm like, wow, bro, these motherfuckers weird, some inbred motherfuckers. But yeah, she was supposedly legally blind, but she can't see shit. But she coming outside on the phone with somebody, probably the bitch across the street that got kicked out because she was a hoarder. But anyway, <clears throat> That motherfucker had got, came outside and was, had a fucking, like a smirk, it was like a laugh, like a slight little laugh, like a chuckle and shit, but she was on the phone, she was talking, I don't know what they was talking about, 
All I know is the bitch looked outside, but you supposed to be legally blind, though. You always coming outside with shades on and shit and hoods and hats trying to hide your motherfucking identity like you a celebrity or something. But you see a motherfucking accident in front of the crib, and all of a sudden you open the motherfucking door. Fuck you. Everybody else standing around, and they wasn't laughing. They was just congregating and shit, talking to each other. Some people shaking their heads like, damn, you know what I'm saying? But the main notion of this that fucked me up was motherfuckers, the motherfucker that ran into my shit and wrecked it when he hopped out and tried to stumble off the ground, you know what I'm saying? Stumbling on the ground, playing like he heard or something, like had a kid in the back the whole motherfucking time. Kid get out, he looking mad and angry and shit because like, what the fuck is going on? And the dude, he looked like he on some type of drugs, like that nigga do Percocets or some shit, like he on some type of pill or something. The lips drives the bitch, ain't had no motherfucking, ain't have no motherfucking insurance, no nothing, no insurance, no license, no plates. It was his baby mama car, the bitch ended up coming out and getting the motherfucker. And then when she ended up getting her, come, come to get the car from this nigga, with this nigga, they both just sitting outside for like the next few hours and shit. Over on the opposite end of where I'm at, not next door to me, but on the other, other end, like by like four units down. You just sitting out there congregating with them and shit. They giving them squares and shit. You know what I'm saying? Talking to them like, damn, bro, is y'all ops? You sitting here giving this man the benefit of a motherfucking doubt like he did something like he was a hero or something. This nigga just ran into my shit. I should be stomping him out and stomping y'all bitch ass out too for sending him or helping him. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? So now I'm coming outside. With this chip on my shoulder. Knowing damn well these motherfuckers on some other shit. And they probably jealous because the nigga over here doing whatever the fuck he do. And now they want to make it seem like I'm in the wrong for not fucking with him. You sitting here helping the motherfucker that did wrong. Fuck you. I don't respect that shit. Motherfuckers running over some. Hey man you alright? Hey bro you good? Like he showing the motherfucker love and shit. Like bro fuck you nigga. He ran into my shit bro. This nigga ain't in the right state of mind. Apparently, it's broad fucking daylight. It ain't no snow out. This is in the middle of the fucking summer. Ground dry. No rain, nothing. Ain't no fucking excuse, nigga. Everybody that drive up and down Sherman, bro, it's always a fucking big-ass wreck within it's at least one or two a month, bro. And every fucking one, bro, they get out that motherfucking car and they abandon that shit. Even if it's a brand new car, if they flip that motherfucker, if they hit something, they always leave the scene before the police get there. These are motherfucking wild people out here, bro. Just the other fucking week, bro, neighbor a couple houses down had his shit parked in front of the crib. Somebody ran into his shit. Now his shit was all up on the fucking grass and shit close to my yard. And shit. I'm like, damn, bro, these motherfuckers out here really wild. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, just because you a neighbor, folks, don't mean I fuck with you. That's all I want to get back to. So much shit with this fat bitch that live next door to me. It was one winter that this bitch had got stuck at the end of the alley. For whatever reason, I don't know how you got an SUV with all-wheel drive, but you s sitting here spinning out, can't even fucking pull out the damn driveway. And I looked out the window and I seen her, and I went over there and I helped her. I put a little salt down underneath the tires and shit. I'm like, all right, now turn your wheel this way. Boom. And she got out. The bitch going to hop out and say, yeah, I'm a... I can shovel your walkway when I get back. Thank you. Like, you ain't even have to offer that shit, lady. I can take care of that shit myself. That's already new right then. That shit wasn't about shit. Like, okay, you can offer to shovel my walkway, but I mean, I'm in the middle unit, so it ain't like you got to shovel a lot. <laughs> Any fucking way. What are you talking about? Not even shovel the fucking walkway of my side of the unit, but just the porch part. Like, bitch, you ain't doing nothing for me. I legitimately went outside, put my clothes on, and helped you get unstuck, bitch. If it wasn't for me, your ass would still be sitting there trying to struggle and get out. And I'm sitting here all the way at the opposite end of the alley looking out and seeing you need help. But motherfuckers closer just sitting up in the windows probably just watching your ass struggle. They ain't offered to help. Fuck them, huh? Fuck me too, huh? Parking all close to me. This is currently. Parking super fucking close to the line and shit. It's the yellow lines we probably got to park a little, little angled, right? This motherfucker be parking all on the line and shit. Like, bitch, what are you doing? And the crazy part about it is on the other side of her, don't nobody be parked there. It's probably a motherfucker that come through about like once a month and had his little raggedy ass Ford 500 out there. 
and it'll be parked there for about like a few days and then they'll leave for the rest of the fucking month and they don't even be there like that. Instead of this bitch making it make sense saying, you know what, bro, this man lives next door to me. Let me leave some space for him. He's always here. He's always active. He's at, you know what I'm saying? He's at the fucking house. He's an active neighbor. Why the fuck would I sit here and want to take his space up? But instead, you want to sit here and park your shit super close to me instead of moving your shit over a little bit. You got a fucking truck, lady. A goddamn, what is that? A Chevy Blazer, a new Blazer. That's another thing that I forgot to mention. The competition shit. Like, I had to upgrade my vehicle because I had no choice. It got totaled out. So I ended up getting me a Honda Civic because I always heard about the David Hobbs Honda on the radio. That's why I did that shit. And sure enough, they hooked me the fuck up. And I appreciate the motherfuckers. That's why I went back to them to get another one. But this bitch, thinking it's some type of competition. Because first, when I moved over there, she had a Chevy Traverse. Like a 2000, I don't know what year, it was a Chevy Traverse. Then literally after my shit got wrecked, and I had to get my Civic. This bitch all of a sudden, a couple months later, pull up in something new. And I'm not thinking nothing. I'm like, oh, okay, that's what's up, bro. She upgrade. Then I kind of thought about it, like, folks, you can upgrade a vehicle. I mean, shit, you can probably get a crib now. So, but besides the point, all right, whatever. Then all of a sudden, a year after that, I'm still with the Civic now. She upgrade and get another vehicle one year after that. To get a blazer. That's what she currently driving now. So it's like, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to impress people or something? Like, I don't give a fuck what you drive, lady. You look like a fucking fat ass raccoon. I don't want you. You're not attractive. You're not appealing. You're one of them churchgoers. I don't play that shit. So fuck no. You know what I'm saying? But this is just on and off shit. It's like some days you want to act like you cool and shit, but other days I just literally see you coming out the crib and just like doing shit to make it seem like you're doing something. Even if you is, just like with the shoveling shit. You coming out there around the same time I'm coming out there shoveling my shit because you know damn well I leave that house every fucking morning like around 3 something to make it to the gym by 4 a.m. So why the fuck would you sit here and just time your motherfucking presence in front of me just, just for me to try to acknowledge you? That's why I'm like, bro, fuck that, bro. That shit be weird as hell to me, bro. It ain't no fucking coincidences, bitch. You be trying to keep my pattern so you can try to run into me and say something. But you know damn well I'm not interested. Seven fucking years and we haven't said about like maybe two, three sentences to each other. Outside of the parking and all that shit. Because it was one time she had came over to my crib. Like, yeah, can you move your car over a little bit? Because this person next to me, you know what I'm saying? I don't want him to hit my car. And I'm like, folks, I'm within my lines. What the fuck are you talking about? Move your car. What are you talking about? But I said, you know what, all right. And then I'm just looking at her, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck is you on and shit? She was like, I'm sorry. And I just turned around and went in the fucking house like, this bitch OC, bro. I don't know what the fuck she on, bro, but I ain't with that shit. I don't get no fuck about that. You on some bullshit. You want to be a motherfucking clown and sit here and act like I'm not catching your pattern. And then other fat bitches in the neighborhood looking at me feeling some type of way. And I don't even know these hoes got hoes. All the way to the other side of this motherfucking unit and shit. All the way down in some other units and shit at the end of the fucking block and shit. Motherfuckers over here looking at me like I done did something to them. Like, bitch, what are you telling these motherfuckers about me? That you ain't even fucking valid. That ain't even fucking valid. What fucking rumors are you spreading? What gossip are you spreading, bitch? Because it got to be something. It got to be something that you telling these hoes about me that ain't true to the motherfucker. And y'all hoes know damn well the niggas be paying attention to that shit. You can't, you can't sit here and live in the fucking apartment complex where it's pretty much a surrounding and it's just one area for the parking lot dead in the center. You think motherfuckers not going to be looking out their windows, folks. Fuck is you talking about? Of course, I'm going to be watching just to see what the fuck going on. I don't get no fuck what y'all doing as long as y'all ain't fucking with my shit. That's the main thing. But then the bitch want to park extra close to me. So I'm just saying, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and park a little bit closer because I still got plenty fucking space, about a good foot of space. Before I hit that line. And I'm still over the fucking line. Why are you parking super close, bitch? So you want me to say something to you. But you got a nigga that's already be coming through there once in a blue moon. With a goddamn uh Freemason symbol on the back of his fucking charger. Like, is y'all motherfuckers doing, over there doing some spell work or some shit? Like, bro, is y'all that motherfucking... That goddamn... 
interested, invested in trying to figure out what I do. That y'all want to do some spell work or some shit. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. That that might be the case. It might not be the case. But either fucking way, folks. Yo, intuition never fucking lies to. It's the reason why I feel a way about that bitch, bro. And she knows she ain't shit, but she try to play that little oh I'm cool shit. This morning, this bitch tried to wave at me when I was going to the house. She just so happened to be coming outside, throwing some shit in the garbage and then going over to her car. I look back. I ain't said shit to the bitch. I ain't wave or nothing. I'm just looking to make sure this bitch don't hit my motherfucking dough. Hit my car with her motherfucking dough. Because I'm looking on my motherfucking passenger side, and I just got that bitch washed today. It's dents and shit and little fucking scuff marks on the damn door. And I'm like, how the fuck did this get here? These are new marks, my nigga. When my shit got wrecked, it was on the driver's side. The passenger side was untouched. When I go to the store, I make sure I park by one of them motherfucking shopping racks so I know it ain't going to be on nobody on the other side of me. I don't know what the fuck be wrong with y'all. I'll be minding my business. Y'all hoes be feeling some type of way because niggas don't want y'all weak ass. That ain't on me. Y'all hoes be having shit so easy, so laid out. Don't put in no effort. Get mad when you think you shooting your shot and that shit backfire. You be looking goofy as hell. It's well deserved though, bitch. You ain't done did shit. Hoes don't even want to put in effort into people they like. That's crazy. That tell you a lot about a motherfucker's character, bro. That tell you a lot about a motherfucker's character. For real, nigga. Like, damn, y'all hoes already insecure and all that shit, but then you want a man to have this, do X, Y, Z, have this ready. Oh, if I get up, if I snap and have a fucking attitude, you can't snap back at me, but keep calm and just talk to me. Like, what? Bitch, you just called me a hoe ass nigga, bitch ass nigga, all this, that, and the third. Try to hit me, but you want me to remain calm? In that situation, I don't think no man that got any fucking sense will remain calm, bro. But I can understand if you got out of pocket a little bit, you know what I'm saying, and I can check you calmly. But if you get a loud and irate, uh, nine times out of ten, I might get loud and irate with your ass too. So please keep that shit peaceful in life. I don't want to have to do that. But the way y'all hoes be acting, y'all so fucking masculine. Y'all be, y'all don't have nothing. Y'all, y'all got it coming at all. If if it come down to where I'm that fucking enraged, folks, we should have been broke up. Fuck are you talking about? But I ain't finna shoot. I ain't finna fake the funk with your weak ass neither. Like, I ain't got time to be playing with you. Y'all want to be men so fucking bad. Or do a little sneaky, deceptive shit to try to get my attention. That's really pissing me off. But you thinking, oh, that'll help usher in some type of flirt or some shit like that. Like, stop playing fucking games, fam. Niggas is tired. We go through way too much from birth. We go through way too much from birth. When we young and shit, got to deal with certain shit. Oh, you're a man. You have to do this. You can't do that. And then unlearning certain shit and relearning certain shit. We got a lot of pressure on us already. Don't tell me about your pressures. Don't tell me about taking care of no fucking kids. That's called consent, bitch. That's called consent. Y'all fucked because y'all had an agreement. That wasn't no rape, baby. So what the fuck are you talking about? Don't sit here and try to play that bullshit. Don't sit here and try to get me to play, oh, woe is you with none of that. Don't quit playing the victim. Take accountability, fam. You hear the theme song? Y'all supposedly the best motherfuckers to communicate, but I don't see that shit. When it's time to communicate, yeah, you can talk all day, but it's an effective communication. That's the problem. And most of that shit ain't. That's why a lot of y'all hoes miserable now. Y'all don't want to speak on the real shit. You tell us to keep it real, and we do. Y'all don't like it for the most part, but guess what? It's the fucking truth. It's going to help you heal. So until next time, folks, do some motherfucking healing. Y'all take care. Miller time. Dropping down, let's go. Say we need not go, so I need not say. Lay the smack down on your goo fast, you don't bring my payment. Say you're looking for foundation, yeah? Can't be the case, bitch. You don't know your place, Nick. Unless it's Zodiacs, no need to go to that. I throw your facts, think abstract, you just whack, you too old for that. Take accountability, it's some things you need to tweak. New lesson learning now, I got a topic every week. Give a fuck.
about what your pop said. Yeah, be shut your mouth. No, you roll like the rock said. Don't give a fuck about what your pop said. Yeah, just shut your mouth. No, you roll like the rock said. Don't give a fuck about what your pop said. Yeah, be shut your mouth. No, you roll like the rock said. Don't give a fuck about what your pop said. Yeah, just shut your mouth. No, you roll like the rock said.